recent weakness in the euro was not encouraging, but if we're going to make the bullish case, it's actually not that difficult to make. Remember, back in September, the market had broken above the Ichimoku cloud for the first time since trading above it in April, and that put the market back in an uptrend. Now, again, we did see these setbacks extend last week back below the Ichimoku cloud and below some critical internal support around 115, but the market hasn't really been able to extend much below there. And if we see the bullish price action in the end of the week lead to another push back up above the cloud, it could open an acceleration of gains and reinforce this recent shift in the trend that we had seen in September. Remember, when we look at the weekly chart and we take it back from 2014 to present, the picture is similar in the sense that the market had been consolidating in a downtrend between 2015 and 2017, making multi-year lows in the process before finally breaking up in 2017 through resistance right around current levels and opening a move towards the plus three or high that was set earlier in 2018. And so even on this chart, setbacks are viewed as somewhat corrective, with the market coming back into a previous resistance turn support ahead of what could be the next major upside extension back through the plus three year high from earlier this year. So overall, the market was not looking that encouraging on the breakdown below 115 last week, but if it can show signs of pushing back through 116, the outlook could be extremely bullish.